Are you ready to incorporate handwritten with your HubSpot CRM? If so, stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm David Wax, founder and CEO of Handwritten. And today we're gonna to talk about using Handwritten with HubSpot. So to use Handwritten, you do need to create a Handwritten account it is free and easy at handwritten.com, and that's handwritten spelled with a Y as shown here. Uh, so just simply go ahead and sign up at handwritten.com, free, and then once you've created your account, you can sign in by clicking the sign in button, which I'm going to do now. After you sign in, you will see all the categories of cards available. You actually can see those on the left, or you can scroll the aisles of cards in the middle of the page or you can go to customizable cards and design your own. I'm not gonna walk through designing a card on this short webinar. Feel free to do that at your own leisure or check out one of our other webinars. However, I have created some cards so you can see those here as examples. This one is for One Tree Planted, which is a partner of ours. We're very proud that for every one tree in paper we use, we plant 24 more certainly well outdoing the tree usage we have. We find this to be a more efficient way than using recycled stock because recycling actually uses its own chemical processes and it's not great for the planet. And it's also quite expensive. So by planting trees through One Tree Planet, we're both giving back and making up for the, the paper we use. So I've created that card here. You can then use that like any other card by hitting the send button. After you've created a card at Handwritten, you can use that in HubSpot. Now, doing that, simply click Integrations on the Hub Handwritten homepage, then click HubSpot, and this will walk you through the integration process. I've already integrated Handwritten into my HubSpot account here. So now that it is integrated, you can simply click Send Handwritten Note next to any contact. Choose the card you want to send. I want to send that One Tree Planted card. And then you can type in your note. The person I'm sending this to is actually me, David. So I'll say, Dear David, What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a different handwriting style. I absolutely love Joyful Jennifer, so I'm going to choose that here. I'm going to sign this card down here. Uh, one of the things I don't love about the handwritten HubSpot integration, and this is really a limitation of HubSpot not handwritten, is the amount of border I have on the page here. It really eats up the, eating, the uh, writing area, so just be aware of that. Now, I've also scale down the size of the screen here for the purpose of this demo. So if you do this on a reasonably sized monitor, you should be okay. Once you hit next step, you will see that there is one contact selected. That selected contact is me because I'm sending it to David Wax. So if I go to David here, you will see there I am and that's the address in HubSpot. Okay, so then you simply click Add to Basket. It adds that card to Basket. When I hit Place Order, it then puts the order in handwritten and you can hit Back to HubSpot and under Activities, you will see I sent a card right here on uh, May 31st, 2023, if you click that, you can see the note I sent. So that is all well and good. That is the easiest way to send a single card. Just click the Send Handwritten Note button, takes you right into Handwritten, and you can do it there. Now to do even deeper integration with HubSpot, you can use one of two tools. You can either use Zapier or you can use Make. If you watch this video closely, you'll see the tabs on the top in the prior section were for Make. However, I feel more people are familiar with Zapier, so we're just going to use that for the purpose of this demo. Okay, when you 
use Zapier for the purpose of this example you will need a starter plan or above so unfortunately you do need to pay the $20 a month to use this feature however I guarantee once you start playing with Zapier you will find a ton of reasons to use it as it can help you automate your entire business so we do need the $20 version because it has this webhooks by Zapier feature which is what we need to connect to HubSpot so once we've purchased Zapier for $20 a month we're going to do create zap a zap is a trigger and one or more actions in this case the trigger is going to be a webhook but in other examples that trigger could be updating a spreadsheet or fill, somebody fills out a form on your website those could all be triggers that could then cause actions to happen in this example we need to use something a little bit obtuse called webhooks which is basically hubspot will connect with zapier by sending it a webhook which is basically a web request so we are going to choose webhooks the way to do that is to go to this box and types web webhooks i'm going to do that here and next i'm going to hit event and i'm going to do catch hook and I'm gonna hit continue. And I'm gonna hit continue one more time here. And now it says we're listening and it gives me a URL. This URL is the key so HubSpot knows where to send the data. So I'm gonna hit copy this. I'm then going to go back to HubSpot. Now, before I get going here, what I'm trying to create in this demo is an example where if I have a contact, and let's just go to David Wax. I have added a custom field called send welcome card. This custom field, if you don't know how to create custom properties or custom fields, please refer to HubSpot, but it's quite easy to create a custom field. I'm, I've created a custom field called send welcome card, and once this is set to yes, I want to send that contact a pre-filled welcome card welcoming to our service. So that is set to yes here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Automation, Workflows, and I'm going to create a workflow. So this is a contact that I'm working on, david at handwritten.com. So I'm going to do a contact-based workflow. It's going to be blank. I'm going to hit Next. And the trigger that's going to cause this workflow flow to start is going to be when the property is set to yes for send welcome note. So I'm going to go to contact properties. I'm going to search welcome. There's welcome card, sorry, not welcome note. And I'm going to set it to yes. So only send this when send welcome card is yes. Or you could do is equal to all of yes. They're pretty much the same thing in this case. I'm going to hit apply filter. I'm going to test it. It's going to show me all the contacts where that's set to yes. And I'm going to make sure David at handwritten is in there. And yes, he is. So now I'm going to set up, I forgot to hit save there. So now I'm going to set up the action in uh, HubSpot. First, let's name this called handwritten. Got that named. I'm going to add the action. So I'm going to hit this plus. And the important thing here is to go down to webhook, which is one of these examples here. Send a webhook. The method is going to be post, and the URL is that URL that Zapier gave me. Okay? I'm then going to hit save. And now I want to test it by clicking test action. And I want to first, let's just go back to Zapier. And it says we're listening, it's waiting for a trigger. So I'm going to test this by finding a contact. Let's do David at handwritten. And hitting test. 
What that's going to do is that's going to send all the data over the webhook to Zapier. It says success here. If I go to my Zap, it says we can just click test trigger and it should find that data, which it did. So if I look, I can see that it did indeed send the email and let's see if it found the address in there too. Yep, there's the address, 135 East Maryland, great. So I'm gonna hit continue. And now that we have the trigger, I need the action and the action's handwritten. So handwritten is part of the Zapier ecosystem. I'm gonna hit handwritten and I'm going to click send card, which is the most frequently used feature in Zapier for handwritten. Once I hit send card, it's going to ask me which handwritten account to use. So let's just set up a new account. I'm going to hit choose, connect new account, and I'm going to type in my email address that I log into handwritten with, and my password, and then continue to handwritten. And it does take a second to connect, so let's just give it a second here and now it's connected. So now I have my handwritten account in Zapier connected so it knows where to send the cards. I'm going to hit continue and you have basically a whole bunch of fields to fill out about this order. So we're just going to start down that process. You put in first name of the sender is me. The last name is me. And the business will say it's handwritten. The, don't forget this is all hard-coded return address information that doesn't change on every order. And I'm gonna hit the handwritten office. And these drop-downs are gonna come into, uh, be important in just a second. Lots to fill out here. Okay, now that I filled in the hard-coded information, now I'm going to enter the recipient information. So to do that, I'm going to look at that webhook. And you can see here that it's pulled in all the information. It's a little out of order, but we're gonna do first name is David, Last name is Wax. Business name, I believe, is Company. So if I search for Company, yep, there it is, handwritten. I apologize, the to and the from are the same in this example. The address, if I go to address, now HubSpot only has one address field, not two, so you're gonna have to cram it all in the, the single line. Additionally, I typed this in all caps. So if you want to have it automatically convert caps to uh, title case, you can do that in Zapier. It's outside the scope of this example, or you could just make sure in HubSpot you've entered the data correctly. City, type in city, and it should find it here. There's a bunch of fields, city. And then state. Again, you got to kind of search for it. Property state value. Now I use property city versions value and versions here. Uh, it really, it's one and the same. I wouldn't worry too much about it. But if you want to be super precise and use the last one, get rid of the one with the versions in it. And now we're going to do postal code in HubSpot. It's not called state or zip code. So we're going to do postal. And if we search here, I believe it's postal. Maybe it is zip. Yeah, it is. I apologize. Zip versions value or zip value. We'll just do zip value. 
And now that we've filled all that in, now we can just choose the card. And if you click card here, it will show you all your cards in your account, including custom cards. So it is loading, it's taking a second. Let's look for that one tree planted. There it is, that's that card we generated on our own. And the writing style I like is uh, Joyful Jennifer. There it is, Joyful Jennifer. The message is gonna be custom to the person. So this is where Zapier gets pretty neat. We're gonna say dear space, and then we're gonna find the first name. And now that is kind of the tag that's gonna get replaced in this example of David. Welcome to handwritten, or welcome to our mailbox. Okay, and then we are going to go to sign off we'll say all the best David again a little confusing because I'm David and I'm sending it to David now if you want to include your signature you can do that just contact us and we'll give you the signature code that you'll paste in here and that will convert into your signature gift cards if you want to include a gift card you could do that here I don't want to do that and I don't have an insert um, and then finally, what credit card are you gonna use? Now this is optional because if you have a prepaid plan or a subscription, you might not need to include a credit card, but it's always good to have one on backup. So I will include mine here when it loads. I'll include my Amex to get those points. And then finally, while we do this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna log into Handwritten and we have a really cool feature called test mode, which I have turned on. You can tell by the little beaker here. But if you go to integrations, you will see test mode. And when you're playing with this type of stuff in Zapier or Make or another platform, it's always good to have test mode on. So if you test the account, you're not actually sending cards and you're not actually being charged. It will try charging that credit card if there's no credits on file. And it will authorize the charge, but not complete the charge. So it will just run an authorization. That authorization will fall off your account typically after one or two days. It will not actually charge your account. So now I'm gonna do test action. And what you will get back is, it says a card was sent. It doesn't know that it went to test mode and it will give you an order ID. So if I log into handwritten over here, and I go to past orders, you will see, dear David, welcome to our mailbox. And it says test order, so you, you, know, you don't need to freak out and think this is actually going out. Uh, there's the information. Now again, the address is in all caps, so make sure your data is clean or um, try to run some sort of title casing function in Zapier to fix that up. If you need our assistance, we're happy to do that. It just falls outside the scope of this video. So once you've done all of that, your Zap is set up here. We will call this HubSpot. And then I will hit publish. And now that it's published, it's live. So we can go back to our workflow here and review and publish on this side. And now it's asking, do you want to do this for all existing contacts? And I had hundreds. I don't want to send them a, a handwritten note at this time or just new contacts as they meet the trigger. So let's just do that. And then we are going to hit turn on. And that is it. Now, everybody, as soon as you click that yes on the send welcome note, it will send them a welcome card through handwritten. You can even chain this through multiple workflows. So if you have one workflow that does a bunch of stuff, you can have that workflow set the property to yes for send welcome card, and then it'll send the welcome card through this workflow. So it's very powerful. It is a little confusing. We are certainly here to help. So if you need any, if you have any questions or need anything at all, please reach out to your account manager or customer support at handwritten, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks so much.